In the beginning, there was a lot of trying to speak to me in English, and I always resisted that. I said, well, wait a minute. What you just said, you actually know all of the words. So say it in French. Let's try it. Comment dit-on drug dealer? Trafiquant. So I think that gets them um, confident that they actually know how to say these words, and it's just a matter of habit. One of the things that um, we've been working on is obviously um, sharing, you know, the time that they're talking and not talking over one another. So you might have heard them say, vazi, right? Which is go ahead. Um, so I encourage them to not only be mindful of the next person who's going to say something, but to also address it in, in French. <laughs> It's challenging in French class to be speaking a language that um, you're new to and um, the only time that we speak English in class is if there's a word that we don't know and we need to know it for a question or a sentence. A lot of the errors that we might see are pronunciation. So um, I try to make them aware of how, you know, letters and sounds um, are how the letters produce certain sounds in French that are not necessarily the same in English. Organization. Organization. I do a lot of work with them on vowels because I think it's really important. Um, and vowel sounds. And obviously in the word organization that was a consonant which is between two vowels. And so you saw me write that on the board. And so that they can always remember that. I kind of remind them constantly so that it becomes automatic. So I think they're at a point where they can correct one another when, when somebody makes mistakes like that. You have to build on what you know like pretty fast in the Harkness classroom. Like when you're in discussion, you have to use a new tense that you learn while also remembering like old tenses. And so sometimes it can seem a little choppy and like there are some days that work better than others. When I learn it, through like hardness, it seems to stick a lot better because like we use it every day. Le mort, grasse? Le So the project at the board that we did was um, for the book that we're reading in class. And uh, Monsieur Tala divided us into group groups and gave each group like a section to write a short summary about. It was fun. Um, it wasn't the hardest part of class, I don't think. Um, because you're working with someone else and so if you don't understand something they're probably gonna understand it and if you neither of you understands it you can always ask and that's always welcome. I think they're doing really well and it wasn't always this sort of um, comfortable for them or fluid for them. 